Hey hello everyone and welcome back to another Game Dev Tycoon video. Today guys we're going to continue working on our gaming empire. Um, it's been a while since the last one so kind of getting into it. I kind of don't really remember what we did last time. Let's look. Oh yeah we made like this super amazing game that got us tons of money. Um, and we made Sir Geoen Simulator 1995, which didn't do too great. And then we did, and then we made Donald Trump the game. Uh, I can't remember how many episodes ago that was, but anyway, today we're going to continue. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I could develop a sequel, um, for one of my good games. Like, I think eventually I'll probably make, uh, Your Best Friend that- Oh wait, this is the sequel to Your Best Friend that's not real. Never mind. okay. I was going to say I should make a sequel to this one. I guess I could, since it does so well, but- um, I'm thinking the game lane will probably kind of not be as popular in a little bit here, so I think we want to start kind of moving on to new um, consoles if they are if they're if they are available. Um, okay, so I think we want to we have six point one million dollars. That's quite a bit actually. I think we're gonna make um, our engine that we have is really good, so we don't need to do that. We don't really have too many research points, so yeah, we'll, we'll make a new game right off the bat here. Um, or wait, actually, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Might want to research a new topic. Hmm, I'm not really sure, because I could make like a life game, but that doesn't, I could make a Sims. Hmm, maybe I should make a Sims type of game. Like a, yeah, we'll make a Sims type of game. We'll research this. And uh, this guy will uh, get him to research. Um, what should we get him to research? Character progression? Yeah, let's get him to research character progression because then we can put that into our game possibly. Or no, we might need to make a new engine for that. So maybe we won't, but um, it'll work good anyway. It'll be fine. It'll be good. All nice and good. Oh god, we have like no research points yet left now. Uh, okay, now we have to make a new game because we can't really do much. Um, yeah, we'll make a life game, and it will be a simulation. Yeah, a life si a life simulation. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That's kind of a Sims type thing, and I think we should probably make it on PC because sim. Well, I don't know. Simulation might be good on the play system, but I think PC. If it's a Sims type of game. I think it would be good on PC, so we'll do PC, and we'll do our game engine, which I might need to new. I might need to make a newer game engine pretty soon here, but we need more research points to do that anyway. Um, let's call it. How about? Hmm. Let me think of a name here really quick, and then I'll uh, I'll jump back when I th finally think of something good. Okay, I think I finally thought of something good, um, or at least at least kind of good. Also, I got an achievement um, for not thinking of a name <laughs> it was like writer's block that was the achievement so that was good um it's called get a life get a life I'll make the a capitalize just for purposes get a life because it's like a life simulator <laughs> get it get it get it okay uh we'll make it maybe i want it 2d graphics v1 or no they're both 2d graphics so it's fine um okay we'll start with, I think we want the gameplay really high based off of these three pluses. I think that's what that means. I think we probably want a game tutorials, no cutscenes, save game, game tutorials, and better user experience. Yeah, okay. And stories and quests will be low. Engine will be about in the middle. And yeah, that'll be kind of low. Yeah, okay. I think that's good. We'll research here and get some more research points, so hopefully, so then we can, like, learn some new stuff, how to make better games. Alright. Hi, this is Annie Kunkel from Electric Games. I got word that Pac-Man Inc. is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some advice? Or some information? Yes, please. Okay, what is your expectation regarding the success of Get a Life? Do you think that the game will be well received? Uh, I'll be modest, because I'm not really sure how this one's going to turn out. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay, the hype is going up. When, when news reporters ask you about your game, usually the hype goes up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll definitely want better dialogues for this because we want the people to seem... We want the AI to seem pretty realistic. So, of course, we want the AI really high. 
and the dialogue's pretty high as well, if it's like a talking kind of game. And level design can be about the same as dialogue, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, hopefully that's good. I'm not entirely sure what would be good for a sort of like life simulation game. If you want the level design good, because maybe you want to like build houses and stuff, because then you'd want the level design to be fairly good. Um, we want an open world. I'm kind of going for a, th a uh, Sims type thing. Um, world design, I guess, low. I don't know. It just it doesn't say anything. But this says two pluses and two pluses, so I'll make it slightly lower. The sound and the graphics will be super high, and the world design can be just a little bit. Because we don't want it to be totally garbage. Uh, we want it to get a little bit, a little bit level designy, world designy. Um, game convention. We'll get a small booth. Cause don't really want that big of a booth because we're not very popular yet. We only have 15,000 fans, which really isn't that much in a gaming industry. Uh, okay, we're good. Fixed all the bugs. Did we get a record? Oh, we did. Sweet. Okay. Nothing leveled up, but got good progress, so that's good. And are the reviews going to come out? Okay, here we go. Get a life. Oh, I see a lot of, I saw a lot of numbers. Okay, eight, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Oh, I see a bunch of tens. <gasps> a nine, okay, that's really good too. Life simulation is a great combination, that's what I thought. Okay, seven, that's still pretty good. And, ooh, a ten, a ten, a ten, no, a nine, okay. That's still good, that's still pretty good. Um, so, oh yeah, so G3, how many people are we gonna get? I don't think, last time I think we got to about this number. Or about this digit long. Well, that doesn't seem like too bad. Oh boy, it's going up really, really good. 66,000? That's pretty good, I think. I mean, it's not like a billion, but it's still pretty good. Didn't make the top 100. Hmm, that seems like a lot of people, though. I guess not. Um, our office would really could really do with some renovation. Eh, should I invest 1.150? I don't know, I'd have to pay more money. But I do have quite a bit, and I think I'll get quite a bit from Get a Life, so I think I will invest the 150k. It's not really that much. Okay, we're upgrading. Ho oh, ho, look at this. This looks cool. Look at this. We got like a TV. I don't even think this system has come out yet. Um, or maybe it has. I don't know. Uh, since G3 has become a biggest meetup of game developers every year, we've decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. Oh, that's G3 training. I thought it was us. Okay. That seems really interesting, actually. Uh, this will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. If you, you are welcome to join in at any time. There are no prizes, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. That sounds really good, actually. I might want to do that. Hmm. I'm kind of curious about... It's, I think it, it's year 11, as you can, if you can see on the top corner here. And it looks pretty modern. It looks fairly modern. Um, okay, uh, the day v Vina fans have waited a long time for has arrived, Vina has announced their next generation console, the DreamVast. A company spokesperson said the DreamVast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. Really? The Dreamcast in real life? Was it really? I didn't think it was that popular. Um, this new console supports powerful graphics hardware, pro uh, promising graphic quality rivaling those on high-end PCs. The DreamVast is also the first console to ship with a modern out of the box, making it ready for online play. Oh, a, a modem. Oh, <laughs> I thought I said modern. Okay, uh, the console will be available early, early next year. Okay, okay, okay. We seems to be getting pretty good. We're rank 18, so that seems pretty good. We're getting quite a bit of money from it. Hopefully enough to keep up with my new investment in this new office, because uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have to pay per month. Probably quite a bit. Oh, see, so you can see on the chalkboard is like boss fights. Oh, why is it? It says I can click on something here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> boss fights and cool and edgy. A duck, a rabbit, a hedgehog is crossed out. That's funny. Um, there's like goals over there. Quiver. I don't know what that's all. For. There's a pong thing. Uh, get a life sold 800k in sales. That's actually pretty good. That's not too bad at all. Okay, we'll get um, this guy to generate a game report for Get a Life, and I think we will. We have 
a few research points. Maybe I want to get a new... Oh, wow, I didn't realize there's this many down here. That's a lot of that's a lot of things um, to research. Topics. Maybe I want to make a pirate game. Hmm. I think I'll I think I'll research a pirate game really quick, and I think that'll be the next game that we make is a pirate type game. I don't think we should make any sequels just yet. Um, okay, get a life. Uh, got the following results: life and simulation is a great combination. Dialogues seem to be not important for this type of game. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the platform audience match PC slash everyone is good. Okay, so yeah, like little kids and adults use PCs, so that is a good combination. Okay, so we got pirate. I think I might want to do some contract work. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see how much money I have to pay. Oh, Wyatt O'Brien says, Hey boss, a friend of mine is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. Are you looking for a sponsor? Or they are looking for a sponsor, and I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for us. Would you like to help out? Pay 80k. Eh, yeah, sure. I feel like I could get more fans from it. I feel like that could help quite a bit. Okay, for the month, I have to pay... Everything's kind of all over the place. 55k. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. I would thought it would be like 80k or something. Um, okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Okay, I think we're going to do some... I'm going to do some contract work really quick. I'm going to cut it out, though. So hopefully if this all works and goes well, I should make, like, an extra... About 75k. Okay, I'll do this really quick. Just because it's boring, it doesn't really involve anything. Okay, uh, see you in a second. Alrighty, I got done with all the payments, and I think I, I got all of them. I didn't fail any of them, so we got about 75k, which will pay for about <laughs> a month of our uh, rent, but that's okay. Um, so I think we will make a new game. Can't really make a new engine yet, because there's only one extra thing, so it's not really worth making. Um, but yeah, we'll develop a new game. It will be a pirate game, and I think we'll make it maybe a pirate pirate adventure game i think we'll make a pirate adventure game that sounds fun and it will be on wait did i pick strategy or i picked adventure okay i think adventure will be good for play system but we don't really know for sure it could be good on pc also uh the tez 64 do i really want to invest in that i'm not entirely sure i think maybe i do hmm maybe i could make it for the tez 64 i'm not entirely sure though i think I think we'll invest in the Test 64. That sounds like a good thing. Um, and it'll be the game engine that we always use. And I will call it, <laughs> I gotta think of a good name again. Um, Buccaneers. That's not how you spell Buccaneers. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm not gonna do Buccaneers. Um, how about. Are you ready? Are you ready? With a bunch of R's. As in a Spongebob reference. <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, it'll be, are you ready, kids? There you go. Spongebob reference. You gotta make the Spongebob references. Or else, what's life without Spongebob reference? Okay, we'll have uh, simple cutscenes, no game tutorials, it'll be super simple. Engine will be really low, source cost will be about medium, and, hmm, maybe I do want game tutorials. I'm not entirely sure. And maybe we do want a linear story. Okay, we'll have a linear story and no game tutorials. That sounds good. Okay, hopefully that's good. <laughs> not entirely sure. The hype's going up a little bit, which is always good. Um, unless it's a bad game, then that's not good. Um, there's a clear trend towards strategy games recently. Oh, dang, well, I'm making an adventure game. I guess it could be an adventure strategy game <laughs> if if I could do that, but I can only pick one thing, so... That's no good. Okay, we'll have the AI pretty high. Um, dialogue can be fairly low, and level design can be... F uh, it says low, but you think it would be high for an adventure game. And we'll have better dialogue on. Always good to have better dialogue. Or else, what's a game without no dialogue? A crappy game. That's what. Okay, well, we'll send this guy on vacation, because he's getting kind of tired. And we'll have the sound fairly low. We'll have the world design fairly high. About same as the graphics. Yeah, and we'll have the sound down there. And it will not be an open world. Um, I don't want an open world. I just kind of want it like levels, I think, is what we're going for. Okay, I don't know if I should have made this guy go on vacation while I'm making a game. That might have been a bad thing. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't seem like it really changed anything too much. 
so hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Uh, okay, Dream Vast has been released. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care. Okay, putting some more points. We're good. Hype 13. And, oh, we got a new record in design again. And we got a bunch of level ups. Sweet. Okay, new research available. Branching story, dialogue tree, 2D graphics V3, and 3D graphics V1. Ooh, that could work really well on the Tez, uh, as in like the NES. I guess it would be the TES. All right, the reviews came in. Oh, I saw some high numbers and some low numbers. Uh, seven, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, a six could have been better. Oh, dang. A seven, okay, this isn't a terrible game, but it definitely could have been better. I don't know what I did wrong. And beautiful, okay. Kind of okay, not as good as I wanted it to be, obviously, but not too, too bad. I guess the popular genre isn't what we pick, so... Yeah, we are making okay sales. Not great. Okay, we'll get another small booth. Is it already been a year <laughs> since the last, like, G3? I guess so. Okay, uh, sales aren't too bad. We're only ranked 62. Yeah, that's not that great. Um, I think we will, while this um, set makes sales, we will train these guys. I think we want to train them a bit more in technology. Um, or at least, maybe not this guy. This guy can my guy can generate a game report for our you ready kids and this guy can train in technology yeah because I was, I was noticing the technology whenever we would make a game was very low compared to the design so we'll definitely try to increase the what was this oh this is the g3 training thing i forgot about that but you do have to pay money hmm so maybe not innovation challenge might increase the tech technology but I think I'm just gonna stick to this code and complete thing because it's pretty cheap and it's three plus technology so that's always a good thing to go for just to be safe because you don't want to accidentally I don't want to pay 70k for something that I don't want okay g3 this year hopefully I think last year I think this got to a six sixty thousand yeah 66 thousand hopefully it's more we have two thousand more fans I think oh yeah look it's already 10,000 more. Okay, about 10,000 more than last year. That's not too bad. Still didn't make 100 top 100 booths. That's okay. Okay, post analysis came in. Pirate Adventure is a great combination. Okay, I thought so. Gameplay seems to be not very important. Huh, I thought it would be. And um, topic, audience match, pirate slash everyone is great. I could have made a mature pirate game. Hmm. Or maybe a young pirate game. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, um, I think we'll end it here for today. It was a pretty good episode. We made two games. Um, I think this Are You Ready Kids is about to be Donzies. I'm not sure how much money we made, but we sold almost 80k. And I think we made, I'm guessing, like 500k from it. Oh, I think it's about done. Okay, it is done. We made, yeah, 500k. I was right. Okay, that's not that great, but it's, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, I think in between episodes, I'll train my characters a little bit more. Um, definitely this guy with the technology because he's very low in it. Um, so we'll, we'll get this guy to get higher in technology and maybe research. And we'll get this guy higher in stuff too. Um, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, so hope you all enjoyed this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Oh boy, there's a proposition. I always hate these. always seem to pop up when I end the episode, it seems. Okay, we're going to offer... If we transfer 70k, uh, we'll initiate sabotage. I don't really want to do that i don't want to sabotage anybody that sounds bad okay so as i was saying if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you n haven't already boy i've had a hard time talking today <laughs> and um make sure to follow me on all the good stuff like twitch and twitter and my second channel Ooh, new research available multi-genre oh that's what i wanted i was just saying about how we should have multiple genres okay anyway we can do that next time um but yeah hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next one Bye.